Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Pop-Up Sports. And before we go on, can you do me a favor? Click the little subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'll wait for you. Thanks. I, you don't know how happy that makes me. Today I'm going to be ranking the greatest Boston Red Sox players by position. Again, as the first two with the Padres and especially the Yankees, it gets tough at times because you really don't know... There, there's so many choices you could choose from. So I'll start with the outfield. The first two outfielders are slam dunks as far as I'm concerned. you got Ted Williams, 521 home runs, 839 RBIs, 344 lifetime batting average, and he was the last person to hit 400. And he also had went into the last game of this, a double hitter, hitting 400, and he decided to play instead of taking the easy way out and ended up with a 406 batting average. So... Hats off to Ted Williams, uh, definitely one of the best outfielders in the history of the game. Uh, next up is Carl Yaskrimski, Yaz, uh, Triple Crown winner in 1967, 452 eight yards with the uh, Red Sox, and 1,844 RBIs. Again, another slam dunk as far as I'm concerned. Those are two of the best outfielders for the Red Sox. Third choice, I could have gone several different directions, but I decided to go with Jim Rice. Uh, the guy was just, I just remember being a great player, watching him play as a kid. He had 2,452 hits, 382 home runs, and 1,451 RBIs. Now, there's other outfielders that have been great for the Red Sox, and that could be a debate. If you just disagree with what I'm choosing, put it in the comment section, and we can, you know, have a friendly debate going on there. First base, I went with David Ortiz. Now, most people say, oh, David Ortiz is DH, but I don't have the DH listed in the uh, greatest players of all time. And he did play some first base for the Red Sox, and he was so important to the Red Sox during the uh, World Series years. Uh, he had 1,204 runs scored, 483 home runs, and 1,530 RBI. So he's my first baseman. Second base, I'm going to go with Bobby Doerr. I uh, hope I'm saying that correctly. But he had 1,094 runs scored, 223 home runs. 1,247 RBIs. Again, this is another position I probably could have gone with a couple different players. But I decided to go with uh, old Bobby. And, again, if you disagree, put it in the comment section. I have no problem with – I'm not perfect. Well, I'm close to it. But, I, but, again, you know, we can go different directions with that. Third base, I think this is a slam dunk for the Red Sox. Wade Boggs, lifetime batting average of 328. He had 3,010 hits. He had 1,513 uh, runs scored. He was mostly a singles hitter, a singles double hitter, and he liked chicken. So you got to put him at third base. He, to me, he's the greatest third baseman in Red Sox history. Shortstop, uh, Nomar Garcia Parro, uh, 178 home runs, 690 RBIs, 323 lifetime batting average. Uh, the thing with him, he was well on his way to being a Hall of Famer, but injuries limited his career. And really put a damper on what was going to be a great career for uh, Nomar Garcia Parros. But I'm going to put him as my greatest shortstop for the Boston Red Sox. Again, if you disagree, put it in the comment section. Uh, for catcher, I went with Carlton Fisk. Now, there was a couple other catchers I could have gone with. Again, this is maybe it's because the iconic uh, video of him hitting the home run and saying, go fair, go fair, go fair. I watch it every week on This Week in Baseball, and it's something as a kid I just remember seeing it over and over again. Uh, but he had 162 uh, home runs with the Red Sox, 568 uh, RBIs, and he was a gold glover as a, as a uh, rookie. And he was, he was a pretty decent defensive catcher for the Red Sox, so I'm going with uh, Carlton Fisk. Now the pitchers, uh, they have some of the best pitchers in the history of the game, and I left some up. I could have gone with Babe Ruth. I could have gone with uh, Kurt Schilling, but I think these three pitchers, you'll probably agree, are the best Boston Red Sox pitchers of all time. Maybe not, but we'll see. Uh, first up is Roger Clemens. He won three Cy Young Awards with the uh, Red Sox. He had a 3.06 ERA. He was a 192 and 111 with the Red Sox. He was just a dominating pitcher for them, and you, you just can't deny that. Second up, I'm going to go with Cy Young. Yes, Mr. Cy Young. He had 192 wins with the Red Sox. He, uh, he had 38 shutouts. He had 275 complete games. Think about that. I mean, I know baseball was different back in the 1800s and early 1900s. But 275 complete games. I bet you there's there's teams that haven't done that in 20 years as total. I mean, that's just an amazing, amazing stat. Plus the award, Cy Young, for the best pitcher in baseball, is named after him. So I thought I would go with Cy Young. 
Third up is Pedro Martinez. He was money for the Red Sox. He's one of the best pitchers in the history of the game. If I'm, I'm concerned, he was he was a money pitcher. He was devastating. He won two Cy Young awards with the Red Sox. Uh, he had um, he had and he, he was also first or second in almost every year he pitched with the Red Sox. So again, another player who was just those are three of the top pitchers. You can make an argument in the ga- history of the game. So. They're all on the Red Sox, and that's what I went with. Bullpen was a little tougher. I just don't think they had a lot of great play, uh, relief pitchers in their history. Uh, first one with Jonathan Papabon, uh, 219 saves, four-time All-Star. He was he was a great reliever for a long time with the Red Sox and went on to finish his career, I think, with the some other teams, uh, Phillies and, and so, and I think Washington, I believe. But next up we have, I went with Bob Stanley. Um he had 111 wins and 132 saves. I, I was struggling with this, and this is where you Red Sox fans can help me out and say, no, this guy should have been there and, and put it in the comment section. But that's who I went with. I went with Bob Stanley. Again, wasn't in love with the pick, but that's who I went with second. And manager, I went with Terry Francona. Two World Series titles. Um, he finished no lower than third every year as a manager. Uh, to me, that's just that's great. Man, in a tough division, you got the Yankees in there. So two World Series titles, a great winning percentage, and that's it. Terry Francona, manager, greatest manager of all time for the Boston Red Sox. Again, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like what we're doing, tell us what's wrong. Again, these are not etched in stone. I'm just going by what I feel and what I and I looking at the stats. If you disagree, put it in the comment section. That's that's what this is all about, talking sports during this time when there is no sports to talk about. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.